It, it looks like they're treading water, you know, they're just like, ah, swimming up. <laughs> so we're putting away Christmas? Yes, we're putting away Christmas. You're bringing back whatever it is that this is in here. <laughs> our, our front living room. Our, this is the front, this is the living room that we don't live in. Our front... <clears throat> Living room. The parlor. We have a parlor. A parlor. Do we? Do we have a butler? No. Then why would we have a parlor? I don't know. Isn't that what a front room is? A parlor. Can't really see it too good, but what are you doing, baby? Taking down Christmas. I don't want to be the house in a neighborhood that has the Christmas lights up at 4th of July. It's only the 4th of December. <laughs> January. Yeah, that's what I said. Uh-huh. Make sure you get all those staples out now. So what do you think of lunch? It looks delicious. All I did is fried up some chicken breast. Dead bird. <laughs> Dead bird. Something quick and easy because we got some stuff we got to do today. Yeah, Belle's feeling good, so we're going to do it. So, yeah, I'm feeling a lot better. I'm not coughing so much and um, still having some other issues, but I'm up and about and I helped clean up all the Christmas stuff in the front room and got some of my regular decorations back out and Kevin's vacuuming and I'm dusting and so I came upstairs with Kevin to put the Christmas decorations away and to try and play with Mama Kitty but Mama Kitty's hiding under Megan's bed right now so I can't get to her at all um, I'll try and get a little green shot picture of her but I don't think you guys are really going to be able to see too much of her right now so let me give it a try well you can't see too good, but there's Mama and Mojo both hiding under Megan's bed right now. So I wouldn't be able to get her out to show her to you guys to pet her or to feed her or anything right now. She's just hiding, probably because we came upstairs and started putting, and there goes Ebony walking in front of the camera. Uh, probably because we came upstairs and started putting stuff in the attic. She got spooked and came running into here, so. But there she is. She does come out and play with Ebony at night now. And here comes Ebony back in front of the camera. <laughs> and she has been seen venturing downstairs. So she is getting a little bit more used to things. Just taking her time. Will you go get me Jack in the Box? Jack in the Box. It's either Jack in the Box or my Chinese soup. So what do you want from Jack in the Box? Oh. <laughs> no Chinese soup for you. I don't know. I want some sort of a hamburger with french fries or onion rings or both. So some sort of burger. Yeah. Yeah, you'll have to call me. See, no. I have my phone no, right here. No, I'm not going to call you. I'm going to get you some sort of burger. Don't you be mean to me. You're going to eat what I get uh, you. Don't you be mean to me. <laughs> You're going to get some sort of burger. 
Don't you be mean From to Jack me. In the Box. Don't you be mean to me. <laughs> <laughs> so what did you give me? Some kind of burger. You don't want to tell me what kind? Just eat it. Find out. Mm. How's your some kind of burger? Mmm. Mmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh. <laughs> Boy, are you camera shy. Ooh. <laughs> and of course, Freckles is just waiting for something to hit the floor. Hello, everybody. So, it's time. What? Do your thing. <coughs> it's time for shout outs. She's losing her voice. <laughs> she isn't going to let me do it. No, because he won't do it right. I got a couple of things first off I want to say before I start with my shout outs. There are two ways you can find the Neighborhood Zoo and the Paranormal Investigations with the Neighbors, PIN, over on, as you're looking at your screen, over on the right hand side, there's a little thing that says Featured Channels. Our other channels are listed there, so you can click on them there and that will take you to the Neighborhood Zoo or PIN channel or where the description of the video is and it has our P.O. box. If you click on right below there, it says show more. If you click on that, I listed the links to each of those channels in there as well. So you can click on those, those links and they will also take you to the channels. I B. Wenzel, mm -hmm. welcome to the neighborhood. You be welcome. <laughs> Tanner Anton, welcome to the neighborhood, and all is good. Martin Lopez, welcome to the neighborhood, and all is good. It's okay, guys. Susie here, welcome to the neighborhood. Welcome to the zoo. Welcome to PIN. Lisa... Kiska. Kiska, welcome to the neighborhood. Yes, we do still have Mama Kitty and Mojo. Mojo sleeps with me almost every single night. She didn't when the dogs were here because she was afraid of the dogs, but now that the dogs have gone home, she's on top of me every single night, headbutting me and rubbing her face all over me and getting hair in my mouth and everything. And Pierre Herrera, do not tell Boomer to knock Daryl Dixon down again. That's not nice. Kayleen Bodden. If you and I have the same cold, how did you get me sick from way over there? Um, how do you say this one? North Wind, I guess. <laughs> uh, Jerion Oppers. Welcome to the neighborhood! Or Jerion Oppers, depending on what country he's from. Okay, Tanya Ray, update. She was the one who had the staff and strep infection throughout her entire body. She is now home from the hospital and she is doing okay. But Tanya, don't be like me. Don't overdo it. Stay in bed, rest, follow the doctor's orders, and you know your body best. If you're still not feeling right, go back to the hospital. Don't let those doctors push you around, girl. Trust me on that. Now, on a sad note, uh, Taylor Berry, Welcome to the neighborhood. And she was homesick today. Her mother, stepfather, and sister, 10-year-old sister. Her mother's name is Stacy. Her 10-year-old her sister is Madison. They went out shopping, and when they were on their way home, they got in a horrendous car accident. Uh, the truck rolled three or four times. Um, the stepdad ended up with some stitches in his hand and, of course, bumped and bruised all over. The mother, whose name is Stacy, she um, has a broken wrist and bumps and bruises and, and cuts and con con contusions. Yeah, that word. All over. But the 10 year old sister, Madison, which Madison, shout out to you, little girl. Thumbs up. Stay strong. Stay tough. She has to go through some sort of a procedure to be stitched up. I don't know the details on what happened and what kind of procedure and what kind of stitches she's having, but um, she's 
staying in the hospital. The mother and the stepfather have gone home, but Madison, the 10 year old um, sister, is staying at the hospital. So, um, if everybody could please keep them all, all of them, Taylor, um, Stacy, the mother, Madison, the sister, and the stepdad, I don't know his name, all in your thoughts and prayers. Um, we would all greatly appreciate that. So, Taylor, we wish you guys all the best. Madison, thumbs up, young lady. So, it's time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll. <clears throat> you are all... You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you. We would not be here if it weren't for you all. <laughs> we love you. <laughs> Can I slap him? I haven't hit him. I haven't hit him at all this year. <laughs> we love you all very much. Thank you again for everything. We wouldn't be here if it weren't for each and every one of you. Thumbs up, and we will see you on all three channels tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Bye.